my name is Mike. I'm a registered respiratory therapist, and in this video, I'm going to show you two different types of nasal masks and how to fit them. Both of these types of nasal masks have corresponding cushion sizes that your respiratory therapist can help you select. The first mask we'll use is called a Respironics Dreamwear Nasal. This style mask sits underneath the nose and connects on top of the head, allowing the pressure to pass through these tubes on each side. To fit the mask, place the cushion under the nose and pull the headgear down towards the back of the head. You'll also notice an elbow on top of the head where your CPAP tubing will connect. Once the pressure is turned on, should you feel any leaking around the cushion, this mask comes equipped with two Velcro adjustments on either side of the headgear to tighten or loosen as needed. To connect your CPAP tubing, firmly press the elbow into the rubber connection. The second type of nasal mask is a tad bit different. This style mask allows your tubing to connect in front of the mask. This mask in particular is a ResMed AirFit N20, which comes equipped with magnets at the base of each frame. Some masks may have clips or hooks. To place the mask on, unsnap your magnets, place the cushion over the nose, and slide the headgear towards the back of the head. You can then snap on your clips or magnets. Once the mask is in place, you can take your six foot CPAP tubing and connect it to the mask. Once the pressure is turned on, should you feel leaking around the cushion at all, you have four Velcro adjustments to, that correspond with different points on the cushion. If you feel leaking on the top of the cushion, your top Velcro adjustments will help to seal off that portion of the cushion. If there is leaking at the bottom of the cushion, you can use the Velcro adjustments towards the bottom of the mask to seal off the bottom. Should you need to wake up and use the restroom during the night, this mask in particular, which is a ResMed AirFit N20, has a disconnectable elbow from the front. When you return to bed, simply snap the elbow back into place and resume therapy. 